Harley Badger 5 Plus? What? No, no, not that kind of badger. This kind. Garbage disposal. As stated in, what the fuck was it, St. Emmanuel's Day? Maybe one day it'll actually work the way it used to when the, when the garbless disposal worked. I have a brand new one, exactly the same. Uh, uh, brand, model, everything that it was when it was put in, probably in 94, brand new, mint in the box, never used, from Will Butter, Lexmarks 567, this is why you have to have alliances with other tubers, you know, Lexmarks 567, we're going to fix this shit one day and that, because I mean, you know, it's there, but I want to fix the whole drain, you know, because it's supposed to have the rubber flapper things and it doesn't have that kind anymore, and the... Just put that in and make it look nice and, you know, whatever, and there's some incidents and shit like that. But anyway, um, you know, it'll it'll actually work and look nice and that, and you can turn the switch on and it'll actually garbage dispose and all kinds of stuff like that kind. And it'll actually work right. Lexmarks 567. We're here and we're going to replace the ancient, rusty Badger 5 Plus. Tried to anyway. Yep. It's the exact same unit that Will Butter had found. Brand new in box. Open box, but brand new. Never used. Here it is. The Badger 5 Plus. Not to be confused with the Harley Badger 1. But, uh, here it is. Let's, uh, let's open the box up. We'll take a quick peek at it. It is all there. Exactly. The top piece, this little plunger thing, whatever you call it. The rubber part that I don't have on mine, it's still nice and flexible and pliable. And then that twists off, something like how it's supposed to with this lock ring or some crap. I don't know, I don't want to pull it out really anymore now, but that is exactly what I got. That is the deal. Sweet. For free. Absolutely. So the idea is it should be able to be replaced, I think. So we're going to see what the hell we have to do. Some swearing later, the disposal is out. However, we have a little bit of a problem. And that's that the ring in there. Oh, something fell. Screws. My dishwasher hose is leaking. Oh, fuck. <laughs> But I'll show you the ring. Something. Oh, okay. The whole drain is turning. So that's a start. Even though it's exactly the same model, and we're looking to replace that because it's just grody and oldy. See, this is the ring that stays on the disposal. I guess held captive by the rubber thing here, which mine is all disintegrating. And then this is the piece that we just got the screws out from. And I don't know what else is going on just yet. Plan L. Looks like we split the ring, yes? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it is. <laughs> yeah, it's split now. That's one way to get it off. It just didn't want to budge. I mean, we put a lot of force on that and it just bent. Oh, now it's doing like a snap ring kind of thing where it wants to stay anyway. 
Now, it's supposed to twist off, and it says use a screwdriver that... Right, and it's like a bayonet-type base, and it yeah. just doesn't want to go. Oh, wow. We got it out in three pieces. Now we can make, like, a fucking Mercedes or something. Or you could almost you could do, like, an Audi kind of thing going on. Okay, that's enough of that. So here's the pile of old parts, some sort of washer, the three pieces from before, this thing, this thing, with some stuff on it, a snap ring, somewhere right there you can see, and the old drain thing. And now we're going to go and get some plumber's putty, even though they say that you theoretically can use silicone, I don't like that idea because the plumber's putty will eventually break away where the silicone may create a seal causing you to have to use an angle grinder to remove your garbage disposal. And here's the inside of this thing. Look how fucking rusty and dusty and disgustingly it is in there. It is... This, this has been tied up for so long. Yes, I'm fully aware before anybody wants to poo poo this video that there is an allen wrench thing at the bottom of it and that'll free up a stuck disposal not not happening not happening i put a breaker bar on it and it ended up breaking off the bit okay that's how rusted shut this fucking thing is it's just done that what happened was it, it it didn't work when we moved in they were pennies stuck in it so it couldn't spin we found them, took them out with long needle nose pliers, and then it still didn't want to spin, so we used the bottom part where the hex thing is, and then we were able to break it free, and then it ran. It worked fine for a couple of years, and then finally you would turn it on and it would just hum, and it wouldn't work, and then we would use a wooden spoon in there to twiddle it around a bit and try it again, and that and that and that, and then... You know, eventually the wife would give up and she, you know, had enough of it. And then I go in there with the power on and we ended up with a chewed up wooden spoon. But we still use it because it still works. And it's also a little, like, bent. I don't know if you can tell. Interesting. And this end is a little chewed also. So this was our garbage disposal starting tool, technical starting tool. And uh, we use that until eventually it just rusted and I, it, it wouldn't free and that was it and it sat unused and I think it sat in such a position that the or the gunk in it built up or some shit and the actual drain port on the side is just not happy so the sink always clogs and now it's being replaced because it's broken so now we're getting the pieces ready for the new garbage disposal. And we're going to hook that up. We got some plumber's putty. We're going to install the new drain. So we got some glob of that and then you roll it like fucking Play-Doh into a snake. I've actually done this many years ago. Something tells me you've done this a little more than I have. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that smells wonderful, doesn't it? <laughs> Goes in. And then the extra schmeg comes out. Real men don't need instructions. 
but you know how it goes. Every man throws the instructions away and then goes digging around trying to fucking find them when something goes awry. So we're actually doing it the smart way <laughs> and checking the directions first to make sure. Yummy. Oh, what was that? Who's that guy? Shoe nice. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, we said that with the AC. <laughs> now, now he just eats Tide Pods. <laughs> <laughs> So the plate goes up, and then that thing majabber the other way, and we're going to need a screwdriver which is around somewhere, and I'll be back as soon as that's mounted. That's the dishwasher plug you have to knock out, I hope it doesn't get stuck in the machine. But that won't be a problem. It turns. We got a shot at it. Wow. Awesome. You'd be a power cord for these things, though. Yeah, I got one. It's <laughs> not a problem. So we have the gasket in, the plate, the discharge pipe. And that's interesting how that mounts with a rubber gasket and a plate, where this one has this screw-on thing, which we haven't removed. We're just going to use all the new hardware. I don't know if this was maybe an earlier or later revision. Something tells me it might be an earlier revision because this is like more convoluted than just this screw-on thing, but I have no idea. So that's in. So it's hung. Now we're going to do the drain. last first test if the drain goes without leaking. We have to hook up the dishwasher thing, but that's notwithstanding, really. I don't see any drip so far, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we're all mounted, leak tested, everything's good. The only thing missing is the electrical, but that's not a problem because. I have a standard IEC power cord. What's the rating on it? Ah, does it fucking matter? I don't think so. It's going to be more than plenty. This is 18 gauge wire. So uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem at all for how long it's actually even going to run. And uh, it's got a built-in circuit breaker. So hopefully that'll blow before the wire does. And uh, otherwise we'll be good. So we're going to wire this up now. So there we are, wiring in, the computer power cord has a brown, a blue, and a ground. The brown is the hot, the blue is the neutral, just for future reference. So that's that, and we're going to put that all in, and put the cover plate, and then I'll run the wire, and we'll give it a test. Okay. The wire is hooked in, it comes out, goes up right behind the drain, right over the dishwasher thing, across, if you can see, behind the Romex, and it's just long enough, so this stays out of the way of the true blue incandescent bulb, and we are ready 
for the first throw ever of the switch. We've never tested this for power, so this could be an epic fail. We'll run some water. We'll let that shoot for just a moment to make sure we still don't have any leaks, which looks good. When I throw this switch, this light will shut off and give power to this outlet, and hopefully it'll run. Oh yeah! Beautiful. Excellent. I love that kind. 